That was I'm a Slut by Biss, off of their 1999 album Social Distancing. Um, I've never heard of Biss before. They spell it with uh, all lowercase letters, B-I-S. They're a Scottish trio. Post-Britpop is the genre. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. It reminded me of, um, like, say, Gorilla Toss. Well, that's like a newer band. You might have heard of them. <laughs> We're listening to that today because we have uh, two Magnetic Field songs from 1999 up in competition today. That's right, two 69 Love songs, songs going head to head. Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 15 of the Magnetic Fields tournament today, and that is match three in round two. And if you're uh, new here, I should probably explain what the Magnetic Fields tournament is. This is technically part one of the Magnetic Fields tournament. What we did was we took every single song that the Magnetic Fields recorded and released in the 90s, and we put them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until there will be one remaining in the end, and that will be the very best song that the Magnetic Fields made in the 90s. Uh, the reason we're doing just the 90s is because we have too many songs for a 256 song tournament, and I cap out at 256 songs on a tournament. So rather than have a lopsided tournament of the magnetic fields, we figured let's just do a half and half. And it just so happened that half the songs were from the 90s. Half of their 90s songs are from this one album. First up today, we're going to be listening to Kiss Me Like You Mean It, which was released, of course, on that album we were just talking about, 69 Love Songs in 1999. This is track 39 on 69 Love Songs. And this one apparently is going to have more of a gospel feel because Stephen Merritt answers a question about if it is a gospel song. And he says, I guess one gospel song is enough in an album of love songs. Of course, it's not a gospel song, really. Or if it's a gospel song, it's, well, I guess it's blasphemy either way. It's more about a B&D relationship. B&D relationship. Oh. Bondage and discipline. Why don't you just say, like, I don't know. I know it's BDSM, I guess. <laughs> That'll be going up against A Pretty Girl is Like, dot, dot, dot. And that is track 19 on 69 Love Songs. And this is one of the more violent songs on the album. And it's just a little ukulele ditty sung by Stephen Merritt. It's a sardonic response to Irving Berlin's A Pretty Girl is Like a Melody. Um, at least that's according to Genius.com. Stephen Merritt does explain in the album interview booklet, I think Pretty Girl is Like a Melody is rather an insulting thing to say, and this is a protest song against that. If you say a pretty girl is like a melody, then she's all sorts of things you wouldn't want to hear. A pretty girl is like the Communist Party. A pretty girl is like, uh, like falling into a vat of acid. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into these songs and see which one's the better of the two. Both of these did get a buy through the first round, so it's our first time listening to them. Here's Kiss Me Like You Mean It. He is my Lord, He is my Savior, and He rewards my good behavior. you mean it he calls me baby says kiss me like you mean it Like I'm dreaming it He 
like that arrangement it's really just like a gospel song done on a synthesizer and a ukulele uh is the style anyway although yes it does sound more like um i guess a bnd relationship uh the way the the words have a double meaning here <laughs> it's pretty funny actually here's a pretty girl is like <laughs> funny too um definitely both are just ukulele songs uh there was a little bit more just a tiny bit more instrumentation in the uh in kiss me like you mean it um and i think i like that one better too i'm gonna give it one i'm gonna give it to kiss me like you mean it it's really tough though they were both really fun songs and i liked both of them a lot but uh Kiss Me Like You Mean It just had that kind of gospel feel to it, which I've always kind of liked that style of writing. Um, yeah, and that uh, that lady on vocals is really good, too. That's just a good good vocalist. Like this video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. But please join me in a moment when we get down with some asterisk Swedish grindcore action. Hope to see you there. Until then, have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.